What's happening? It's Shane here. So this video is for all of you geniuses out there that are good at math. So if you're not big brain, then this video is not for you. I'm sorry. Is math related to science? Please leave now because this is an exclusive club. So if you haven't left, congratulations. Membership fees for this club are one smash of the like button per video, as well as subscribing to the channel. But anyways, this video is going to be about degrees that are either directly related to math or they're indirectly related to math because if you're somebody who really enjoys it, you're gonna be doing a lot of it. So with that being said, let's jump in right now. Number 10 on the list is going to be economics. And yes, I know this is technically not a math degree. However, this one does have a heavy emphasis on math, and so if you're somebody who's interested in that, you should definitely look into it. First of all, around 26,000 people every single year graduate with a bachelor's degree in economics. Economics degree graduates have some of the best statistics out there. According to Payscale, they are expected to make around $56,700 in their first five years after graduating, and then after 10 years, they're going to be making on average around $107,800 a year. Now, I've talked a lot about this one before, but it can be a little bit difficult to get your first job right after graduating. But once you've got a job, once you've got some experience, this is one of the best degrees out there. And on top of that, you want to make sure that you're networking, you're trying to get internships, and you're just basically building up your skills overall. Now, depending on which school you go to, some of them are going to have more of an emphasis in math and some of them won't. So it's always a good idea to take extra classes when it comes to mathematics, as well as something like computer programming skills. And honestly, it's a really good idea with economics to double major in something else, something related to either business or technology. Some examples of degrees that would be good to either minor in or major in when it comes to an economics degree would be computer science, mathematics, and statistics. Now there's a ton of different pathways that you can go with an economics degree, and many of them are going to be in the finance industry. So for instance, I'll just pick a random one. Financial manager might be a career path that you could look into. Financial managers make around $129,000 a year, according to BLS. Less. There's over 650,000 jobs available, and the job outlook is a very healthy 16%. Number nine on the list is going to be accounting, and this is another degree where it's not necessarily math related, but you're gonna end up doing a lot of math anyway, so if you're somebody who really loves to do math, you should definitely look into it. So accounting is technically a business degree, and about 49,000 people graduate every single year with a bachelor's in accounting. Now, after graduating with your accounting degree, you can expect to make around $51,000 a year in your first four years, four to five years after college, and then after 10 years, the mid-career pay is somewhere around 88,000 a year. Now, very much like economics, accounting is another one where it's gonna be extremely good for you if you combine it with other complementary skills. This could include taking extra classes, double majoring, or even just minoring in a different degree. Now, the great thing about accounting is there's no surprise what you're gonna be able to do after you graduate. Accounting degrees become accountants, and there's a ton of jobs out there for accountants is a very established career. So it might not have some of the incredible numbers that some of the other ones on this list have, but there's a ton of jobs out there and it's a very stable career overall. Now I made an entire video about this, but there is some whispers that accounting could potentially get outsourced and automated. And so I think if you go in this direction, you should really try to learn some kind of computer programming skills. I think accounting and computer science and programming skills make a really good combination. But as an example of a job that you might get with an accounting degree, Accountants earn around $71,550 a year, according to BLS. There's over 1.4 million jobs, and it's growing at 6%, which is just as fast as average. Number eight on the list is going to be mathematics. Now, you might be surprised that this one is so high on the list. You might have thought it would have been top three or something like that. But honestly, all the ones on this list are pretty good. So even though it's not like, you know, top three, that doesn't mean it's not a really good option. Every year, about 15,000 people graduate with a bachelor's in mathematics. And on average, you can expect to earn about 57,500 in your first five years after graduating. And then after 10 years, your mid-career pay is gonna be somewhere around $102,000 a year. Now, this is another degree that's very well respected. So even if you don't end up working as a mathematician, which you probably won't unless you get a master's or a doctorate, you can still find a lot of jobs out there. Companies love hiring people who have math skills. So even if it's not related to math per se, or it's just barely related, 
there's a good chance that they'll be interested in you. Now the problem with a pure mathematics degree is it's kind of just a little bit abstract and it's hard to apply what you learn to things in the real world. That's why I think it's a really good idea to either double major or minor and something else that's complementary with math. Combining a mathematics degree with a business degree or a finance degree, for instance, I think would be an excellent idea. And this is one of those degrees where I see a lot of people having trouble getting a job right after graduating with a mathematics degree because it's just not obvious what you're going to do with your degree. So make sure you do your research, make a solid plan on what career you're actually going for with a degree before you decide to go for this one. Let's say you really do love abstract kind of theoretical mathematics and you want to become a mathematician. What you're going to have to do is get a master's degree and you're expected to earn around $92,000 a year, which is really good. And the number of jobs is around 47,300 and the job outlook is 30%, which is really, really good. But honestly, most of the people who graduate with a mathematics degree are not going to go on to become mathematicians. They're probably going to work in either the technology industry, maybe the finance industry, or with a business. Number seven on the list is going to be another one that does have a lot of mathematics in it, but it's technically not a math degree, and that is going to be finance. Now every year around 31,000 people graduate with a finance degree. And those graduates can expect to make around $55,000 a year in their first five years, and then the mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around 98,600 a year. And this one is actually pretty similar to accounting. In fact, accounting graduates and finance graduates a lot of the time will end up competing for the same jobs. But in my opinion, I think finance is just a little bit better than accounting overall. And this is one that pairs extremely well with a math related degree like statistics or mathematics. So if you're very interested in math, you should definitely consider doing both of these together. Now, there's honestly a ton of different career paths that you can go down with a finance degree, but I'll just kind of just go over one of them, I guess, and that is going to be a financial analyst. Financial analysts make around $85,600 a year on average. There's over 329,000 jobs available, and it's growing at around 6%. Number six on the list is going to be aerospace studies or aerospace science. Now, this one is all about things that fly through the air like rockets, planes, jets, satellites, all sorts of things like that. And I have to say, this one is a little bit of a hidden gem because a lot of people don't even hear about it. Over 2,700 people graduate with this degree every single year, and this actually has some of the best statistics on the entire list. Graduates can expect to earn somewhere around 52,600 in their first five years after graduating, and there is a ton of room for growth because in mid-career pay, you're gonna be making somewhere around $129,600 a year. And honestly, this is a pretty niche degree that a lot of people don't even look into, but if you're someone who loves airplanes, you're like obsessed with things that fly through the air, then you should definitely look into getting this degree. Now the stats on this one are extremely good, but because of the fact that there's not that many degrees awarded every single year, it might be throwing off the data just a little bit. But overall, this might be a really good choice for you if you're someone who is good at math, and you love airplanes and things that fly through the air like flying saucers. Number five on the list is going to be physics. Now from everything that I've gathered, this might be the most difficult degree that you could possibly get. Even more difficult than engineering, or aerospace science, or anything like that. A little over 5,000 people graduate with a physics degree or a bachelor's degree in physics every single year. And you can expect to make somewhere around 60,700 in your first five years after graduating. And then mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around 113,000 a year. Physics has that same common problem where a lot of people who get a four-year bachelor's degree in physics are not going to end up working as physicists. In fact, in order to work as a physicist, you'll likely have to get a doctorate. However, this is still a very highly respected degree, and there's a ton of people and hiring managers and owners in the technology industry, for instance, that love to hire physics graduates. Because of how difficult this degree is, only really smart, really hardworking people end up graduating with it, and so there's no guesswork. Hiring managers pretty much know what they're getting when they hire a physics graduate. So this is another example of a degree where you probably want to supplement your skills with something that's a little more applicable to the real world. You know, maybe learn some computer programming, supplement your skills with business, something along those lines. So one example of a career you could go for if you do want to go back to graduate school and, you know, get your doctorate is you could become a physicist.
and physicists make somewhere around $122,000 a year. There's only around 21,000 of them in the United States, and they're growing at about 9%, which is much faster than average. Number four on the list is going to be statistics. And this one is very similar to mathematics in terms of what you learn, but the good thing about this one is it's a little more applicable to the real world. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one because only about 864 people graduate with a statistics degree every single year. And there's also different types of statistics degrees out there, so that's something that you should look into. But a statistics graduate can expect to earn somewhere around $62,300 a year during their first five years. And then after 10 years, their mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $113,000 a year. These are excellent stats, and this is something to look into if you're interested in maybe doing math, but you want it to be a little more applicable to the real world. Just like a lot of the other ones on this list, you want to supplement your skills with some other things that are complementary. So it'd be a really good idea to learn some computer programming or maybe, you know, minor or double major in business. But overall, this is still a very good option. I think it's kind of like math, just a little bit better. Number three on the list is going to be actuarial science. Now, this one is also very similar to mathematics and statistics, except it's even more applicable to the real world. This doesn't have the same problem as a lot of the other math degrees, where it's not very clear what kind of job you're going to do after you graduate. Only about 913 people graduate with an actuarial science degree every single year. And you can expect to make a very healthy sixty. $3,700 a year in your first five years. And then after 10 years, your mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $127,300 a year. And I think this degree is a good hybrid between business and mathematics. And a lot of people who graduate with this degree will become an actuary for a big company. Now, there are a bunch of difficult tests that you have to take, and I'm not going to really go into it, but there's a series of tests you have to take in order to earn the big bucks. But this one is one of the best on the entire list when it comes to the statistics. And I'll be honest, a lot of people would find this this kind of work really boring, but if you're someone who loves crunching numbers, you love mathematics, you should definitely look into this. So one career that would make a lot of sense for you to go into if you got an actuary degree is for you to become an actuary. And actuaries make somewhere around $108,000 a year. It only requires a bachelor degree. There's going to be around 25,000 jobs available, and it's growing at about 20%, which is much faster than average. Number two on the list is going to be another type of degree that isn't technically a mathematics degree, but it's very closely related, and that's going to be engineering. So if you're someone who really loves mathematics and you want to figure out how you can use your mathematics skills in order to translate and build things in real life, engineering might be something that you can look into. The great thing about engineering is it's very applicable to the real world. This is different compared to a lot of other mathematics degrees where the things you learn are a little bit abstract and it might be difficult for you to apply that to the real world. Now, if you look at the statistics for engineering degrees and just best degrees overall, when it comes to pay, engineering degrees just totally dominate the list. On top of that, if you look at the degrees that have created the most millionaires, engineering is number one on that list. Now, I admit I've made a video about this. Engineering is not quite as good as it used to be. I think this is because of overhype for the most part. Like, they basically just overhyped an engineering degree so much to the point that it has gotten a little bit oversaturated. But the thing is, when you graduate with an engineering degree, even if you don't go on to become an engineer, there's so many other job opportunities out there. Hiring managers love hiring engineers because they know what they're getting. They're getting somebody who's very smart and very hardworking. Now, one thing I always like to say about engineering is that it's extremely tough. They have a huge dropout rate. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, this is not for somebody who doesn't like math, and it's also not for somebody who's a little bit lazy. Nothing wrong with being a little bit lazy, especially when you're young. Engineering is going to put you through the grinder. I was friends with a lot of people in undergrad that were engineers, and they basically look like rats raccoons at all times, like they'd have dark circles around their eyes basically all the time. But for the right person, engineering is an excellent choice. So one example of an engineering degree that's really good would be electrical engineering, and you could go on to become an electrical engineer. You would expect to make somewhere around $101,000 a year. There's going to be over 330,000 jobs available. And like I said, it is a little bit oversaturated, so it's only growing at about 2%. But the thing about that is you might not go on to become an electrical engineer specifically specifically, but maybe you go on to work in the software industry, which a lot of the skills that you learn will have some overlap. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that very much. I did go over some of the pros and cons of engineering in a couple of the videos that I made, so go ahead and check those out. Number one on the list is not going to be any surprise. People make fun of me in the comments all the time because I bring this one up so much, and that's going to be computer science. It's almost a meme on this channel at this point because I basically hype up a computer science degree quite a 
bit, but to me it's just so obvious with all the research that I've done that computer science uh, is gonna teach you a skill set that is just gonna be so valuable in the next 20 to 40 years. And to be honest with you guys, I'm practicing what I'm preaching. It's so obvious to me that this is a very valuable skill that I am trying to teach myself computer science right now. I'm actually thinking about doing a few projects that are related to computer science on this channel in the near future. And technically this one isn't a mathematics degree, it's technically a technology degree, but you have to learn so much math in order to be really good at computer science that it's basically a mathematics degree as well. This is also a degree that pairs extremely well with pretty much any other degree on this list, so that's something that you should look into. And there's so many different career paths that you can go down with a computer science degree. One example, of course, would be a software developer where you're gonna make around $105,000 a year. There's over 1.3 million jobs available, and it's growing at 21%, which is much, much faster than average, especially for a career where there's already 1.3 million jobs. There's also a ton of other random career paths that you can go down, such as computer network architect. And in this one, you're gonna expect to make around $112,000 a year. There's 159,000 jobs available, and it's growing at about 5%. I think you guys get the idea. I'm not gonna blast you with how good a computer science degree is. If you've watched my channel, you'll know that I think very highly of it. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and then comment down below any comments, ideas, criticisms, etc., that you have on this video. I'd love to hear your perspective, especially if you have gotten a math-related degree. Thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.